This is the lounge. Maria. Oh, God. How could you? Maria. Sweetheart, are you all right? Take me home. Yeah, of course. Come on. Maybe you should give her a bit of time. Usual decaf latte, no sugar. Oh, we're really that predictable. Sad, isn't it? No, of course not. It's no harm in sticking what you want. I admire that, Alaman. Right, take a seat. I'll bring it over. I might be reading a bit too much into this. And don't shoot me down. Do you fancy Cal? What? No, of course not. Oh, maybe just a bit. All right. Though I'm not going to do anything about it, of course. I mean, I can still walk though, can't I? Yeah, yeah, of course I can. Mind you, you have to admit, he is gorgeous. I suppose. Not really my type, to be honest. Hey, uh, did 10 miles today. Oh, right, brilliant. I'll just take plates. Well, I was wondering if you and Simon wanted to come home for dinner. I feel much better. I really miss him. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, why not? Great, well, then we're, uh, we'll sort something out. She's agreed to come for dinner, you know, her and Simon. Oh, that's smashing. Really pleased for you, mate. Hi. Hi, you staying for lunch? Uh, no, no, just for a chat. You know, I was at a loose then and uh, I'll well, see if you were free. But you're not, so it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. Five minutes. Get the cuffs in. OK. Oh, God, Liam. Audrey's going to be devastated. What am I going to say to him? Oh, sweetheart. How can I tell him that? No, come on. I am so, so sorry. He's just pretending all along that he loved me, that we had a future together. Look, I don't know. <laughs> Have you really no idea? No! I thought Todd was our friend. How long's it been going on, eh? Like, all the time? Was he just pretending well, at all? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. I've never really trusted that lad. He cried on my shoulder like all that stuff with his dad. I felt sorry for him. Yeah, well, that is Todd all over, isn't it? I mean, he'll give you a hug so he can stab you in the back. And then that me all that Valentine's night. He stayed behind with Marcus. I bet he planned it. I bet it's been going on since then. Oh. I... Do you know what I can't understand? What? Come on. Well, Todd, he was in the salon this morning, wasn't he? I mean, he knew you were going to the house. Oh, my God. He set it all up, didn't he? He wanted me to find him. I mean, how am I supposed to know how much pepper to put on someone's pizza? I mean, she shouldn't have been looking away. Some people just like to complain. Mm -hmm. Oh, sauce, I'm such a mega mouth. I'm going to be talking about you, not me. No, it's all right. I'm coming for a chat. Listen. Well, my mum used to say a problem shared is a problem half. Uh, all right, well... Uh, Mind you, that only used to apply to her, cos um, when I talked about my problems, she just used to switch off. Maybe I take after her. Oh, that's dead scary. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna shut up now. So, is this about your fella? If it's what I think it is, I am not gonna say I told you so. Good. Because you did. Tell me. I should have listened. So he's not left to them? Nope. I'm sad to what are you going to do now? Well, I've already done it. I've already dumped him. You've done the right thing, you know. Might not feel like it now, but it will. Can we get you anything else? Uh, a one-way plane ticket? Anywhere will do, just don't tell my dad or Dev. Oh, that bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, my dad's giving me grief about the colour scheme. And Dev thinks he's a new Duncan Ballantyne. This morning, he suggested we should get posters printed for the gym with his face on. <laughs> Really? Afraid so. Oh, no. It's hardly an advert for a gym, is he? Yeah, well, I think that's why he just wants the mug shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I just have a quick word? Um, I was thinking I might book some sessions with you. Yeah, sure. Pull up a chair. Oh, it's all right. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, see you. 
been so stupid, Audrey. Playing gooseberry and I didn't even know it. Listen, madam, none of this is your fault, right? I'm not sure how much of it is Marcus's fault, truth be told. I just know that when that Todd wants something, he doesn't care who he hurts, right? Marcus still went for it, Odin. <sighs> All those rows we had about whether he was gay or not. Him telling me that I didn't understand making me feel like I was paranoid. Why did I trust him, eh? Why didn't I just listen to my instincts? Because, my darling, you loved him. Yeah, well, he didn't love me, did he? Go home, will you? No, I'm worried about I'm you. I'm going to talk to Maria, tell her this is a big mistake and that I still love her. And you really think she's going to believe you, even if it was Just true? back off, all right. You've done enough damage. Don't blame me. I didn't know she was going to turn up, did I? I need to talk to Maria. Well, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? I mean, what's that saying? Actions speak louder than words. That girl has been through enough in her life without this. She trusted you completely, Marcus, and you betrayed her trust. I just feel sick looking at you. Please, Audrey. Oh, just go back to your boyfriend. You deserve each other. It wasn't like that. I didn't mean for this to happen. What? Her catching you, you mean? Oh, no. Actually, I'm sure you didn't. But you did, didn't you? Hmm? You are. Please, Todd, don't act all the innocent. You set all this up, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Todd knew that Maria was planning to surprise you, so he thought he would surprise her as well. Marcus, she's talking rubbish. What's going on? Don't listen to her. Seems Todd's been playing away with Marcus. Marcus? Do you know, Todd, you haven't changed a bit, have you? I mean, you so enjoy wrecking people's lives, like you enjoyed wrecking Sarah Luce. Oh, do you know what? Play another one, Audrey. I've been hearing that record for years. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. I mean, first there was Carl the nurse, then the midwife. What are you planning to do? Work your way through the whole of the medical profession? Right, that's enough. You, get back to the house. No, I'm not a kid. Oh, well, we can either talk about it here, or we can talk about it in private. It's up to you. You couldn't leave him alone, could you? Even though you knew he was with Maria. So? What business is it of yours, anyway? Plenty. When it's my neighbours' lives you're messing with. I should have told Maria the first time. How am I going to look her in the face? You see, now we're getting to the crux of it. Oh, the humiliation, the shame. You only care about yourself. Oh, that is rich, coming from someone who has just destroyed an entire family. Mum, they weren't a family, they were a farce. Who are you to judge other people's lives when your own is such a mess? You know, my life is exactly how I want it to be. I do what I want, when I want. Oh, yeah, yeah. No matter how many people you hurt. Do you know what? I'm fed up with this. I'm going to go and find Marcus. It's a very lonely life, you know, not being able to make love and not get love back. And one day you'll realise it! <sighs> there you are. It's not true, you know. I didn't set it all up. OK. I admit I came to try and persuade you not to go through with it, but I didn't plan the rest, honest. I didn't know we'd both get carried away, did I? Or that Maria would walk in on us like that. It's Audrey. She's always had the knife out for me, ever since Sarah. I'll say something. Like what? Do you want to come back to mine? You can't sit here all day. <laughs> Be on my hand. Fine. Well, you know where I am if you need me. Is it off? Oh, hiya. Hiya, mate. Hiya. We're just helping the kids while Fizz cooks. Yeah, we're all going to have tea with Ryan. Are we? No, not by the look of it. Keep trying to ring him, but I don't think his phone's working. Oh, well, we can always invite him over another day. I hope. I'm all Ty, he's just been to collect Haley's ashes. I thought it might be nice for him to be with us. But no, I'm probably just overreacting again. All right, I'm sorry. We'll keep trying. If he doesn't answer, we'll go and check he's all right, yeah? Ariadne, Aurora, Diana. 
Electra Juno Pandora. There's definitely seven. Oh, you're right, Mum. What's for tea? Uh, nothing. Hey? Not got round to it. Why not? Oh, where do I start? I mean, I was on my way to get something, only there was a slanging match going on in the street. Ooh, who's having a slanging match? Audrey Roberts and him over there. I mean, half the plats are watching, so how you haven't heard, I don't know. Why were you having a slanging match with Audrey Roberts? What are you going to tell him, or shall I? Oh, cut to the chase, Mum. I'm starving. <laughs> Your brother had sex with Marcus, and Maria caught them at it. Is that true? No, no, I'm just making it up for my own entertainment. Well, you get bored, did you, eh? Decided to ruin someone else's life. Yeah, I've had all this from Audrey, thanks. Yeah, and me. Anyway, I don't know why you're so bothered. Maria treated you like dirt. Oh, right, so you thought you'd do the same back. Is that what you meant when you said you were in love with someone else? I can't believe it. Well, I can, because it's been going on for weeks. What? Oh, you never said. No, because Marcus begged me not to. He swore it was over, but Todd here had other ideas. I mean, you know. Wish you weren't. Well, do you? Do you love him? It's none of your business. Excuse me, Todd, but this is my ex we're talking about. Yeah, your ex. Just because you couldn't hang on to him doesn't mean you have to have a go at me. That was lovely. Mm. Egg and chips, that is my kind of food. Right, shall we go for a drink, then? Well, we were out last night, but you can go if you want. What, me own? Well, it's never stopped you before. Nah, I'm right, it's all right, I'll stay in with you. Been a bit clingy all of a sudden. Well, I, I just... I just thought that... Are you sure? Of course. All right, I will then. Yeah, go on. There's a film I want to watch on the telly anyway, so I have a couple if you want. All right, then. OK. See you later, then. You do know what all that's about, don't you? Of course I do. You know I'm keeping him on his toes. <laughs> You'll enjoy staying with Uncle Kirk, won't you? Eh? Yeah. Just tell Mommy's feeling a bit better. Maria, it's me. Please let me in. Maria! It meant nothing, I swear. It's Todd. He's been after me since day one. Well, I should thank him then, shouldn't I? Because he's made me see you for what you really are. And I don't mean gay. Maria, I didn't mean to hurt you. I tried to fight it, but I... Well... If you had to try, then we really never had anything, did we? But we did. We do. I love you. Liar! Are you stupid? You liar! It's all lies! I loved you! And I have loved you! You never loved us! Maria, stop it. <laughs> I think you better go. Yeah, don't go back because you're not wanted. <laughs> Let's get you inside. I need a drink. Oh. Apparently, it was at the show home. Oh, what a place to make a show of himself, eh? Uh, it's not funny. No, it isn't. You're having a good laugh, are you? Well, I work about you, aren't I? Well, that's right, why I'm for Roger. I'll just have a small one, actually, Michelle. Well, you are so sorry. So am I. You seem such a nice young man. Yeah, that's what Todd thought. <sighs> I can't believe he's done this to you. Really? Everyone else can. I said it was only a matter of time. Let's go ahead, you two. Go and tell everyone what an idiot I've been. Couldn't agree more. We're all fools when it comes to love. I should know. Oh, God, she must be in bits. Oh, she is. I mean, to be honest, I'm really worried about leaving her on her own. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. I I'll bring them over. Men. They're not worth the bother. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, it's all right. I'll let you off. You certainly seem to be making Sally happy anyway. Do you think? I know. She told me. Well, after the way that her husband's been treating her. True. But they're getting on all right now. Are they? Oh, yes. You have to learn to forgive and forget, haven't you? When you have kids. <clears throat> Roy! It's Fizz. Anna let us up. We were wondering if you wanted to come round for your tea. Uh, already eaten, thank you. Well, you could come round anyway. Be nice to spend a bit of time together. Yeah, or we could come in for a bit.
Um, I'm in the middle of something, actually. Uh, but I'm not in your coming. Yeah, we tried ringing, but your phone's not working. Did you know? I'll take a look at it if you want. It could be a faulty connection or a loose wire well, or something. Very kind of you. Won't oh, take me a minute. Right. Can you be careful? Flipping heck. Throw me out. Come here. Your not I'll deal with my mum. Come on. Mum? Marcus is staying the night. Over my dead body. Well, well, well. Look who it is. That didn't last long, did it? Barely worth splitting us up for. Leave him alone, yeah? He can't stay in this house. I shouldn't have come. If he goes. So do I, and you won't see me again. Good. I mean it. It doesn't matter. I didn't let him stay. Just the night. Thanks, Sean. I'm not doing it for you. All right. All right, well, I'm saying Eva's. But it's just for one night, and then he goes. Oh, it's massive. Yes, I, I suppose it is. I, I hadn't really noticed, just concentrating on one section at a time. Did you buy it like this, or...? Well, well I, I, I bought various parts, but now no, I'm putting it together myself. Wow. Yes, it's a, it's a replica of the original Woodhead line, which used to connect Sheffield, Penniston and Manchester. Does that train work? Yes, yes, yes. So class 76 for freight, class 77 for passenger. They started off with seven of those, each named after a character in Greek or Roman mythology. I was trying to recall them earlier, but there's one. It keeps eluding me. Well, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> never mind all this boys' talk. Look at the state of the place. Where do you eat? Where do you sit at night? I find, find the odd space. Although that will be difficult when I've constructed the other reservoirs. Other well, reservoirs? Well, there's a whole chain of them. Bro, you can't live like this. Why? Because. It's not healthy. You're not seeing people. You're not doing things. You're not even running your business anymore. Well, there doesn't seem much point anymore. Right. Where's this phone? I'll have a look while I'm here. It's not broken. I, I, I put it in a cupboard. I didn't want interrupting. Is that what we are? An interruption? No, 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 of course not. No, yeah, but... Perhaps, perhaps you're right. Perhaps I've been a bit cut off. I'll, I'll, I'll plug it back in. We just wanted to know that you were all right, Roy. We weren't trying to intrude or anything. Yes, I, I know. Is it all right if we come back tomorrow? I mean, I won't mind having a, you know, a closer look at it. Yes, yes, that would be very agreeable. Great. I'll see you then. Yes. Goodbye. Yeah, Bye. OK. See you, Roy. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Minerva. That was the one. Goddess of Wisdom. Hiya. Oh, you didn't have to stay out till chucking out time. Can I have a word with you, please, love? In private? Why? Wow, what's the matter? Nothing. The, the, the thing is, uh... What? Um... Come on, just spit it out. Well, I've, I've never actually told you this. But I... I think that I... love you. <laughs> sort of. 
Oh, Tim. Are you just telling me this because Kevin's coming back? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I am. But, but I mean it, I do. I do love you, Sally. And I'm frightened that you're going to go back with him. Daft thing. Of course I'm not going to go back with him. And I love you too. Really? <laughs> Come here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> behave yourselves! Here we go. I'd offer to make you a black coffee, but to be honest with you, I think you need the sleep. You'll feel better in the morning. No, I won't. I know that from experience. <clears throat> Is there something about me? Oh, of course not. Except that you're too trusting. I mean, maybe fellas can sense that. Yeah, well, not anymore. From now on, I don't trust any of them. I tell you, if Marcus thinks this is over, he's wrong. I want him to know how it feels. I'm gonna hurt him like he's hurt me. Lady May might have her own problems, but now she's sorting out Harry's. Miss Mr Selfridge last night? Well, it's on ITV Player now. Next, the story of a man who would stop at nothing for his own gain. Brand new dark drama, The Widower.